guys. Hello. How are you doing today? Um, I hope you guys are good. <coughs> Excuse me. I am coming to show you what we're having for dinner. It is something really, really simple, really, really quick. Um, I have um, Boudreaux's. Boudreaux's? I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Brand. Crawfish tail meat. Um, it's fully cooked, peeled, deveined, and it has the fat on it. Um, you're supposed to keep it frozen, but I am actually going to use it for dinner. This is what it looks like. I got this from Walmart for like $8. Ooh, I'm warming up the oven because what we're cooking requires the oven usage. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make crawfish toast, guys. So, I saw this recipe on, um, somebody else's video <laughs> and I wanted to try it. Um, so I'm washing my hands right now because, yeah, I'm going to get them hands nice and clean. Oh, man, I only got six minutes of recording done. Y'all, I'm going to have to cut it, like, make it real short and simple. Anyway, I'm washing my hands, and then I'm going to take the crawfish and mix it up in a bowl. I have some Italian bread that I'm putting it on, but which really you're supposed to use French bread because it's like a, you know, like a Louisiana type, um, dish. And, you know... Yeah, so that's why because you use French bread. I grabbed the, the wrong bread, which is crazy because I had looked at the the French bread and I felt like it was too soft. So then I ended up grabbing the Italian bread. So, sorry y'all. I'm going to um, come back. I'm going to come back when I'm ready to do what, what I'm doing. Okay. So I have Italian bread that I got from Walmart. Um, I cut these, this Italian bread into about one and a half inch thick slices and I'm putting olive oil on this pan. I have my oven going on 350. I'm gonna make crawfish toast. I'm gonna spread this olive oil with a napkin. I mean a paper towel. I'm gonna spread it on the pan and this will help the bread get crispy on the bottom. And then yeah I'm gonna put the bread on there. So now I just have some butter. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna spread the butter on to the toast. My oven is already preheated. I have it at 350 right now. I'm gonna double check to make sure that's the temperature I'm supposed to have it on. Um, and if not, then I'll just I'll adjust it accordingly. But I'm gonna set the bread to the side now. And oh, actually, I could have like opened it from the side, but it's okay. So now I'm gonna empty the crawfish package into this bowl. The meat is already cooked, so yeah, like not too much that has to go into it. I'm gonna use fresh tomato. It calls for like canned tomato, but I'm going to use a fresh tomato. Um, I have this, so I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to dice it up and start cutting. Crawfish mix. Well, there's no mix, just it's just crawfish right now. And I'm going to grab some Tony Sachery's seasoning, um, roasted garlic and herb seasoning. I'm going to do onion powder. Um, garlic powder. And I don't think I have any more parsley, but I'm also going to grab the obey seasoning. So I'm using all of those, the ones that have salt, the obey, the 20 sachets, and the roasted garlic and herb. I am not going to um, use them very heavy because they all have salt, so I don't want, you know. 
don't want to um, overdo it. So here we go, guys. Now I'm gonna get the mayonnaise because it does require mayonnaise. So if you don't like mayonnaise, um, I don't know what to tell you. I'm using the Kraft olive oil mayonnaise. All right, so I'm gonna basically spoon the the um, crawfish onto the bread. It calls for Parmesan and Monterey Jack. I'm gonna use Kobe and Monterey Jack and Pepper Jack. So I'm gonna put cheese on top. I put the oven on boil now because the cheese is melted on the um, toast. I'm going to show you guys in a second. I also threw some sweet potato fries in there. The toast. That's what it looks like so far. I'm going to let it get brown and bubbly on the top and then I'm going to take it out. This is the toast. That's what it looks like. I let it toast and get a little brown on the top. See that? Cheese is a little browned. If you don't like it like that, then just um, cook it until the cheese melts and that's that. And then I just have my sweet potato um, fries in the oven. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.